Hey everybody, welcome to the Blacksican Exodus. Um, name is clearly the way it sounds. I am a multiracial, um, half black, half half Mexican, black woman in the black community. Um, this is this episode is just an introduction. Just want to give a brief background of where I come from and my perspective and hope that I can bring some insight to black women and why they should divest. So I am again a multiracial black woman, half black, half Mexican, Uh, but the Mexican is in me is very um you know there it's it's more like the native americans of mexico so phenotypically i you know you can tell i'm black i'm black but you can tell there's something going on there anyways i have a perspective of Growing up in a very diverse community, I'm from California, I'm in my mid-30s, and um, I have divested. I've been divested for 10 years. So, I wanted to put my perspective on YouTube because I think that there is a common misconception when it comes to how multiracial women, multiracial black women view black women in the community. Um, I'm coming from my own perspective, my own experience. And um, I've been very much so inspired by all the black women that are choosing themselves, that are educated, the most educated demographic in the country. And, you know, I just want to, this is just raw and uncut. I think that I have a, a positive perspective to add to the conversation. And... You know, I want I want to be a part of the the whole key key when it comes to uh, shutting down these nakers, as we are now calling them. <laughs> and why you should put yourself first, and why you shouldn't care about what these nakers think when it comes to black women. So. So again, um, <clears throat> I grew up in a very diverse community. My family's diverse on both sides, on the black side and the Mexican side. Um, I have Mexican cousins that have phenotypes that stem all the way from white <laughs> to black, <laughs> even in Mexico. Um and you know even the neighborhood i grew up in was diverse my family's diverse there's just diversity everywhere however of course you know there's sub communities within the community you know you when you're like in the main, when you're at the main event you're with everybody uh when you decide to branch off and do your own thing you choose the community the sub community that you want to be a part of um the black community is one of those communities clearly And to be honest with you, when I do think of the black community, I think of black women. My father's black. He wasn't around. My my mom was a single mother. Um, She was the preference, quote unquote. And, you know, he treated her like uh, they treat uh, black women, as uh, the community would state. They get the same black man that black woman get. So my mom was left 
uh, with four children, two black men. I have an older brother. Um, and then my dad and my mom married and they had my two other older siblings and me. I'm the youngest. And um, ever since I can remember my first memory, I remember my dad not being there. Um, he would come in spurts, so I would know who he is. But, you know, single mom, four children. Um, and my mom actually is multiracial as well. Um, she is Mexican and um, my grandfather is half white, half black, essentially. I mean, just to put it in simpler terms, he's from Louisiana. Louisiana has its own diversity going on because of, you know, the evil pasts of America. Um, a lot of mixing was happening in Louisiana. And, you know, my my grandfather is, is multiracial as well. It just makes things easier when you just say half and half, to be honest with you. And uh, the DNA supports half and half as well. So anyways, the, the reason why I bring that up is because I want to make it clear that my mother, she was... She, my mom probably has more of the conflict of being multiracial than we do. Um, because, you know, phenotypically, we do, it's clear that we have African-American roots in our DNA, me and my siblings. My mother, however, um, you don't know what she is when you look at her. She looks like a Mexican. And so she was raised by my grandmother, for, who's from Mexico. So she does have that background going on. Uh, but because my grandfather's from Louisiana, she does have that whole identity to her black roots. And so my mom has, you know, especially growing up. Now, my mom grew up in a very racist area um, in California. And so she very much identified she, of course, identified with her Mexican roots, naturally, just because she was being brought up by my grandmother. But she was also very much uh, Black identified as well, in her own mind. I know that we're, you know, <laughs> when, when we have these conversations today, she's not a Black woman. She is biracial, and I agree. But that being said, she's very much black identified and so she is one of the mammies she's a biracial mammy <laughs> my mom um she just only wanted to be with a black man no matter how many times they would screw up and so she was very much black identified and because of that you know i was exposed to the black community and um, identified and was drawn to the black community. But as I said, when I think of the black community, I think of black women. It w because the, you know, the black men were never around in, in any of these women's lives. Not one of my mom's black friends is married. I never seen these women married. And so the things that I were taught, that I was taught growing up in the black community, all came from black women. All of it. Um, on my dad's side of the family, <laughs> you know, my dad is black, all black. No, no, no mixing. My dad is, is a, a moreno, as they call him. Um, he's, he's, um, a dark skinned black man. None, uh, my father and none of his brothers, cause my, my grandmother had seven children. None of them are married to black women. None of them. I have what? It's my dad and three uncles, all white women.
and my aunties are all, all single and had babies, multiple babies by black, different black men. However, these are the, not, not on my dad's side, but the, because, you know, naturally, because my dad wasn't around, I didn't really get to establish a, a, a connection until I was older with my dad's side of the family. So the exposure that I got in the black community, and again, when I say black community, I mean black women, um, came from the fact that my mother is very much black identified, even though she, you know, she's, she's very much a hybrid, that internal struggle that biracial, um, people go through. My mom definitely went through that, uh, because she was raised by my grandmother, but she very much is connected to the African American roots. Even though, you know, she basically is, you know, she's racially ambiguous, essentially. Um, so that's uh, just pretty much the introduction. I don't want to make this too long, uh, but I, you know, I, I think that there is a, um, I think that the that I want to bring forth the conversation of what it means to um be um multiracial but have this huge admiration for black women like seriously um uh, black women are just amazing creatures it's it's amazing the things that I grew up seeing these women um, overcome and the things that they taught me, um, is, is very amazing. So, um, there's more to come. I don't, I don't, the, I, of course I want to, I want to bring my, um, interpretation of things coming from this very simple perspective. Maybe I can elaborate more on my perspective and my upbringing as, as, as a uh, subject matter comes up and um commentary comes up but yeah this is me um obviously i want to remain anonymous because people may come for me um i don't know where what direction this channel is going to go but that's me guys that's me anyways please like comment subscribe share whatever it is that we do on the tubes of you. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for listening. Bye.